Hey, 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 hey. It's, it's Kids, Kids on, on Sunday. Sunday. Well, welcome to Kids on once again for our second part of the Divine Health series. This week, we're speaking about Jesus paid the price, and today is going to be powerful. It's going to be awesome, so don't miss it. We've got a wonderful drama skit just for you. We want to remind you to share this video with your friends, and if you're on your parents' profile, I want you to say who you are, where you're watching from, because we want to stay in contact with you. Come on, engage with us today in the comments, and let's get straight into today's lesson. Well, today's lesson, we're going to be speaking about part two of our Divine Health series. And last week, we learned, Auntie Jazanne taught us about how sickness and disease comes from the devil. Remember, sickness and disease does not come from God. Sickness and disease comes from the devil. But today, we're learning about part two, which is all about Jesus paid the price. Type in the comments with us, Jesus paid the price. And let's look at Matthew chapter 8, verse 17 in the NLT. This is what it says. Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. Jesus took our sicknesses and he removed our diseases. Jesus took sickness, he took disease away, that allergy, whatever that thing may be that's, that's plaguing your body, or maybe that's a headache or something. That is what Jesus came to pay the price for. Jesus came to pay the price to remove sickness and to set you free from that disease. So we're going to look at these things, how Jesus paid the price for our redemption. Jesus redeemed us from the curse. So he's, re he's removed sickness and he's taken away disease from us. But these are three things that Jesus paid the price for. Are you ready? Number one, type it in the comments with us, boys and girls, moms and dads. Here we go. Number one, Jesus paid the price for forgiveness of sin. Number one, forgiveness of sin. Jesus also paid the price for divine healing. So you can live in divine healing. So number two is divine healing. You don't have to live sick. You don't have to live with disease. You don't have to live with those allergies. Jesus paid the price. And number three is eternal life. Because when we go to be with Jesus one day in heaven, we either have a choice to make. We can choose life or we can choose death. And this is the price that Jesus paid. That when we choose to live for Jesus, for Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. So when we live for Jesus, we are guaranteed that we can have eternal life when we live our lives righteous and holy for Jesus. So where did sickness come from? How did sickness enter the earth? We know in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 31 when God created the earth. He created the heavens, He created the earth, He created the ocean with all the animals that scurry along the ground and the deep sea creatures and Jesus, God created all of that there. But we told that sin entered the world somewhere. Where did it enter? It entered when Adam sinned. Listen to this here. I want to read this here to you. This is in Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. This is what God said. Adam, you may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat this fruit, you'll be sure to die. You see, Adam disobeyed God. Adam didn't listen to God. He was disobedient. And that's where sin entered the world, was when Adam sinned. So we know that sickness and disease entered the earth when Adam sinned and he disobeyed God. That's where it entered. Remember this, you're going to get some questions a little bit later. But hallelujah, we can thank Jesus for the price that he paid. Because Jesus came to pay the price that you don't have to live with disease, you don't have to live in sin, you don't have to live in sickness, and we can be free from death. We can live in eternal life. So I want to have, have a look at this object lesson, all right? Take a look at this object lesson, okay? So here we have, this is Satan's package deal. Let's have a look and see what's inside here. All right, we've got two boxes, Satan's package deal and Jesus' package deal. Let's have a look and see what Satan's package deal is all about. Oh my goodness. This is definitely not part of Satan's package deal. Satan's package deal involves three things. Here we go. Satan's package deal is sin. Sin comes from Satan. I want you to know that there. Number one, sin comes from Satan. Number two is sickness. This is all part of Satan's package deal is sickness. He wants to put sickness on your body. He wants to plague your body. He wants you to be sinful and he wants to bring death upon you. This is from Satan. This is what Satan wants to do. So this is Satan's package deal. Say it with me. Sin, sickness and death. These three things, sin, sickness and death, all entered the world when Adam sin. These come from Satan. But praise God that Jesus paid a price for us. Let's have a look and see what is Jesus' package deal. Now Jesus' package deal is this. The package deal is healing. Say it with me, healing. Jesus came to bring healing. He came to bring forgiveness. And He, became, he came to bring eternal life. 
This is the package deal of Jesus. He came to make sure that you can live in healing, that you can live with forgiveness, that you can live with eternal life. That is Jesus' package deal. I'm sure that you want this package deal. We don't want the package deal of the enemy. We want Jesus' package deal. So let's go take a look at this awesome drama skit and learn a little bit more about how Jesus paid the price. Boys and girls, a long time ago, mankind was a slave to sickness. <laughs> ah, let's put sickness on this woman. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> Measles, sickness, cancer. <laughs> the situation was very sad because there was nothing mankind could do about it. He was a slave to sickness. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but God did not forget about mankind. The Father God sent Jesus to the earth. Jesus sets us free from sickness. And the Bible tells us that Jesus took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Praise the Lord! Jesus set us free from sickness. Hey, it looks like Jesus is coming back. Let's see what he has to say. My daughter, I love you. Next time sickness comes, you have to assist him in confidence and in the name of Jesus. Then you won't be healed. Thank you so much, Jesus. I will definitely do that. I will resist. Sickness in Jesus' name. Thank you. <laughs> now that Jesus is gone, I can torment this woman. <laughs> I resist you in Jesus' name. Sickness, measles. Get out of here. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Praise the Lord, girls and boys. That's what we need to do when sickness tries to come our way. We need to resist it in the name of Jesus. What an insightful drama skit that was. And today's Bible story, we're going to be sharing from Numbers 21, verse 4 to 9. And this Bible story is about the bronze snake or the brazen serpent. So it means the same thing. So it's the bronze snake or the brazen serpent found in Numbers 21, 4 to 9. Let's get reading. It says, then the people of Israel set out from Mount Hor, taking the road to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people grew impatient with the long journey and they began to speak against God and Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die here in the wilderness? They complained. There's nothing to eat here and nothing to drink and we hate this horrible manner. So the Lord sent poisonous snakes among the people and many were bitten and died. Then the people came to Moses and cried out, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take away the snakes. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord told them, Make a replica of the poisonous snake and attach it to a pole. All who are bitten will live if they simply look at it. So Moses made a snake out of the bronze and attached it to a pole. Then anyone who was bitten by a snake could look at the bronze snake and be healed. What a powerful Bible story. This Bible story shows us, it says, when the children of Israel were wandering in the desert with Moses, they were continually compl complaining to Moses. And one day they complained so much that the Lord had to remove protection from them. And a poisonous snake attacked the people. And many of the children of Israel, they actually died from the bites of that poisonous snake. And the people repented of their sins to Moses. And then Moses prayed, he prayed to the Lord for the people. And the Lord told Moses to make a serpent of bronze or brass, should I say, and set it upon a pole. And it came to pass that any man who was bitten by a serpent was healed if he looked at the brass serpent. In other words, the bronze snake. And Jesus told us in the book of John that the brass serpent was a type and shadow of himself when he would be lifted up on a cross. And just like the children of Israel were healed by looking at the top of atonement today, we can be healed by looking toward the atonement. Jesus bore our sicknesses on the cross. So I trust you are blessed by today's Bible story and join us now for our memory verse. Hey boys and girls, was that not an awesome 
Bible story from Auntie Jezan. And right now we're going straight into our memory verse and it is found in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. And it goes like this guys, Jesus took our sickness <coughs> and he removed our <coughs> disease. <coughs> so boys and girls, we're going to say it again and this time I hope that you guys join me and let's enjoy this together. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17, Jesus took our sickness <coughs> and he removed our disease. <coughs> So guys, I hope that teaches you something. I hope it blesses you. Right now, we're going straight into our object lesson. Enjoy. Come on, boys and girls. I trust you're going to be learning that memory verse. It is an awesome one found in Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. We're looking forward to hearing you say and quote that scripture. Uncle Dimitri, please, can you bring me this big, heavy bag over here? Wow, you had an amazing memory verse. Wow, oh, thank, thank you so much. Right, enjoy the rest of your day. So this bag was so heavy, and Uncle Dimitri took it from where it was and brought it to me. But I'm just going to make sure that he did it properly. So I'm going to take it back quickly. And, uh, you know, I'll ask him to, you know, take it from there and bring it here. So I'm going to quickly just oh, bring it back. Oh, it's heavy. And bring it back here. Did that really make sense? Uh, I don't think so. It didn't really make sense, did it? But that's the same way Jesus already paid the price and took your sickness and took your disease. Jesus already paid the price. You see, Uncle Dimitri already brought the bag to me. I didn't have to go take it back and bring it back again. That's the same way Jesus already paid the price. He took that sickness and he took that disease away from you. I want you to know today, boys and girls, that you don't have to live with sickness. You don't have to live with disease. You don't have to live with those allergies, whatever it is. You don't have to live with that anymore. You can be free from that. So I want you to lift your hands to heaven. That's where our help comes from. And I want to pray with you. All right. Father, we thank you for every single child. I thank you that they don't have to live with sickness, they don't have to live with disease. I thank you right now that you paid the ultimate price for every child, for every son, for every daughter, for every family member watching. I thank you, Father, that all those symptoms leave their bodies today in Jesus' name. I thank you that you came to pay the ultimate price so that we could be made whole, that we can live in divine health. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I trust that you were blessed. Let's do a lesson recap quickly. So here we go. Let's have a little recap. So remember we spoke about sickness. Where does sickness come from? Remember Andy Jezan spoke about it in part one and we spoke about it today in part two. Where does healing come from? Remember, boys and girls, come on. Where does healing come from? Remember, we did a little bit of an object lesson. Then when did sickness enter the earth? When? Remember we read a specific scripture, Genesis chapter two, verse 17. It came from a guy named Adam, remember? Where was it? Okay, let us know where it is. So when did sickness enter the earth? Number four, what was Satan's package deal? Remember we spoke about Satan's package deal? What were those three things that Satan brought? Okay, what were those three things? And then what was Jesus' package deal? The three things that Jesus came to give us. What were those three things? Trust that you were blessed. Enjoy the rest of today's service. Well, we trust that you were blessed from today's lesson on Jesus paying the price. We believe that it really touched, transformed, and changed your life. Today, we want to give you the opportunity of making Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of your life. So if you want to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life, we want to really encourage you to say this prayer with us. Mean it from your heart and declare it out your mouth. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Wash me. Wash me. And cleanse me. And cleanse and me. And set me free. And set me free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. For me. For me. Thank you. Thank you. That on the third day. That on the third day. You rose again. You rose again. And one day. And one day. You're coming back again. You're coming back again. For me. For me. Fill me. Fill me. With your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. Give me a passion. Give me a passion. For the lost. For the Lost. And a hunger, and a hunger for, the things of God. for the things of God. I thank you. I thank you that I am saved. That I'm saved. And I'm born again. And I'm born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, all of heaven rejoices over one person who gives their heart to Jesus. So you've made a wonderful decision today. That's awesome. Well, we really trust that you were so blessed from today's lesson. Remember. Today's lesson about Jesus paying the price, Jesus' package deal was for you to live with divine healing, for you to live with forgiveness of sin and to have eternal life. That prayer that you just prayed, let us know that you prayed it. Remember, you can join us again right here, same time, same place next week here at River Kids Zone. Until then, remember Jesus loves you, we love you, and we'll see you soon. Love you guys.